We start tonight at five with the next phase in the trial of Hannah Gutierrez Reed, the former armorer on the Rust movie set, facing involuntary manslaughter and tampering with evidence charges. So yesterday, prosecutors rested their case. So today it was the defense's first shot, really, at trying to sway the jury. Spencer Schott has been following this trial since the beginning. So Spencer, how did the defense start its case today? Well, Tessa, this whole trial, the defense has been arguing that Hannah Gutierrez Reed is being used as a scapegoat by the Rust producers. And her defense lawyers tried to drive that point home today by calling OSHA investigators to take the stand. Now, throughout their testimony, we learned that OSHA fined the Rust production $100,000. That's the highest fine they're allowed to issue here in New Mexico. A summary of their findings states that Rust movie production went, um, I identified a workplace hazard working with guns, but then failed to enforce any safety rules or hold enough safety meetings so workers knew about their safety policies. We determined that the management team was responsible for a series of failures that, uh, in our opinion, accumulated in an accident. Okay, and by management team, um, who do you mean specifically? Uh, specifically, we mean the chain of command um, above Hannah Gutierrez, um, beginning um, at the lowest level with Sarah Zachary, and then Gabrielle Pickle, and then um, Dave Halls. But on cross-examination, the state argued that OSHA's findings should not hold weight in this case because they did not conduct a criminal investigation and they do not have information from local law enforcement. And on top of that, the state pointed out OSHA can't find individual workers, only employers. So even if as part of your investigation, uh, you found concerning conduct by an individual employee, you couldn't issue that person a fine, correct? Not individually, no. Today, we also heard from a private investigator hired by the defense. Now, he testified that this case is unique because it isn't a case of who done it, rather, it's how did it happen. And he claims the sheriff's office didn't take that into account during their initial investigation. Instead, they just focused on Gutierrez Reed. All right, Spencer, thanks for the update.